bolts and everything and soldering iron and wires and connectors and all kinds of stuff and this fancy looking main board here and uh, you may be wondering what this main board is from and what this is this is a uh, main board from a Dreamcast and uh, what I'm doing here is soldering on kind of wires here to these they're pretty much just via so they're real hard to solder to but you can solder to them and uh, wiring it up to a uh, now I'm wearing it up to a little board here with some pins on it, so I can make it removable if need be. And uh, it's going to be a uh, VGA output and uh, audio output, right, left. And uh, normally you have to build a board like this. And uh, I got some resistors kind of hanging off here, weird. And that was just for some testing. And usually this is, there's a schematic in line you can find to build this board. Well, I built this board and uh, didn't work. Actually, there's another one here I built. And I took some of the parts off it to reuse. Didn't work. So I said, well, maybe there was something wrong. I messed something up. So I said, I'll build another. And I used the, uh, the strip board pattern. Of course, it's not a strip board, so I just ran the leads all the way across. And uh, this one didn't work either. And so I checked everything, double, triple, checked, checked all my connections here on the board, checked all the connections there, couldn't get it to work. And I just happened to uh, come across a forum that uh, somebody mentioned that they hooked everything up just direct right to the board. The uh, red, green, and blue signal, the horizontal sync, the vertical sync, ground, enable, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it worked. No, no board needed. So I went ahead and tried it, and voila, it works. You don't need any kind of PCB or components at all. Um, I don't know if that's true for every Dreamcast, if it's a certain revision. Uh, I think this is... Look at it here. I don't want to take everything apart. Just the bottom here. This is... It says 1. I think there's also a 2. Revision 2, it's NTSC, it's a U.S. model. And, uh, I don't know if that makes a difference or not. But it does work without the board completely. Now, I don't know, somebody might say you take a chance of burning something off. I have no idea. They're Dreamcast, you can get one for probably about 30 bucks off of eBay. Uh, so if for some reason this destroys this one, which I don't think it will, because I already tested it and it works. But if it does, they can just pick up another one for like 30 bucks. It's not a big deal. And, uh, you know, the, the rest of it got kind of dark. You can't see with the GD ROM drive, the power supply, and the main board here. I'll flip it over here to, you see, this is made in 1999, if that makes any difference. But I really have no idea. I would imagine this would work on any dream board without all the components and circuitry <clears throat> but uh, I'm not sure but I just wanted to post a video here saying that it does work on this board and there's no components in no dials no resistors nothing just direct wire right to the board and it works perfectly so just a little update there and uh, when I get it all back together I'll give you a little update And here is the results. Got a uh, working Dreamcast, and uh, I went ahead and changed the, the light in there. Just uh, I was in there, so I figured why not? Let's see, I put a blue one in there, and uh, actually I kind of like the original orange. It matches everything, but let's do that for a while. And here we are running on my VGA monitor, and uh, the quality is just excellent. Uh, Focus. Hello. Nothing like phones that won't focus. But like I said, you can see the quality is excellent, and uh, it's even better on my TV because you know this is a higher resolution, so it's going to scale it up some. Not as native resolution. The TV's not native either, but still.
That's uh, pretty damn good. Let's talk a little bit longer. Yeah, load the demo. There we go. This is uh, Chaos Field, which is uh, one of my, uh, I don't know if it's my favorite, but I like it. It's a good sh uh, shmup. And uh, fun to play, got a variety of options. Music's pretty decent with it, too. But uh, as you can see, I picked this up off of uh, eBay. It was, I think it was 40 bucks. And uh, came with the controller, one VMU, the console, and uh, I think about four or five games. And it wasn't too bad. It was a little dirty and grody when I first got it. But uh, I took the console all the way apart, obviously, because I had to put the VGA stuff in there anyways. And uh, took all the casing and just threw it in the sink with some soapy water and just let it soak and toothbrushed it and cleaned it all up. Uh, looks like brand new now. Same thing with the controller. Took the controller completely apart and uh, washed it all up and even took the uh, the fine VMU here, which I cannot get out. Took it all the way apart and cleaned it up too. So, Put some new batteries in it? I don't know. Don't really need them because most of the time you have batteries in it that just eats them. <laughs> so I give, figured I'd give it a try. But all that came, I think, 40 bucks. And uh, it didn't come with KS Field. That's a burn copy running in there. And I haven't any problem running burn copies of Dreamcast games. I know some people say that it uh, wear out your laser, but I don't know. I guess I'll find out besides the fact that, like I said, it's a thirty, forty dollar console on eBay nowadays, so what's the big deal? I'm able to buy them and hack them up, and I mean, truthfully, the graphics are, are fifteen years later, are still hold up today. Uh, yeah, I guess it's not PlayStation Three or uh, Xbox Three Sixty quality, but it's not far from it. It really isn't. I, I feel that the graphics on here are better than the PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two just went out because of DVD drive and. And uh, the fact that the third-party uh, developers for it, there was just more of them. But just an update. Pick yourself up a Dreamcast and have some fun. I mean, you can just burn games, CDRs. So it's a nice little system to pick up for cheap and just play with because uh, like I said it's so easy to get all the stuff and some of the accessories just laying around on eBay. And, uh, I, the only thing I can't find, I can't find anywhere local to me that sells, uh, old Dreamcast games. Um, there's some games I just like to own the original copy of. I'm sure they're a buck or two nowadays. It should be that cheap. Maybe that's why I can't find them. But, uh, I haven't checked GameStop. I, I hate GameStop. I despise them. I think most people do. So I kind of refuse to go in there. But I've checked my local disc replays and whatnot. And they just have, um, they have PlayStation 1 games. But they don't have uh, Dreamcast games, which is technically the next uh, evolution of console. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to uh, check out some uh, smaller independent stores. But anyways, there you go. VGA Dreamcast. Works great.